Good morning. Do y'all know the vibe? Here is your hint. These are all my swimsuits. It is summer. My last weekly vlog I posted was like a sup my first summer vlog. But today's vlog is gonna feel even more summery. Today is Memorial Day. It has been 80 degrees all weekend. I'm so excited to get outside. I mean, look at my tan. Like I'm already, I've already got some color going. Swimsuit is on, but I have some things I need to do before I head over to the pool. But guys, I live in a neighborhood that has a pool. It is great weather outside. Vibes are high. I have so many books to read. It's gonna be a good summer. Here is essentially my pool makeup routine. We're gonna do SPF 30, uh, why did I forget what this is called? More Moisturizing sunscreen. Sunscreen is a must. Brush out the eyebrows a bit. I'm like doing my makeup in the viewfinder. I like to kind of fill the outsides a teensy bit. Bronzer on the eyes. A nice little cream blush just across cheeks and nose. Then just curl the lashes. Very simple and if I get in the pool it all washes off anyway so. The vibes are so high. I mean, there are like wet swimsuits hanging all throughout my bathroom. I've got my pool towel drying right here. Like, I just love those summer vibes. Okay, summer ready. And here it is in the natural light. My husband's off work today. What are you doing today, babe? Um, Playing video games? Nothing productive. <laughs> A full anti-productive day, just and as it should be. Based. Turn the espresso machine on. We're gonna make our morning lattes. And then I'm gonna like pack up my laptop and stuff, work at the pool, and also do some reading at the pool. So it's gonna be very summer vibes today. And here is a cat in a box for you. How's your box? Once again, this is your sign to get an espresso machine, make lattes every single day, never spend money on coffee anymore, other than like literally just buying it for my espresso machine. <laughs> okay, um, I'm waiting on my laptop to charge because I need to work at the pool for a little bit. So while I do that, I'm gonna put away my laundry. Put away my laundry with me while we talk about my life plans. Or not life plans, but summer plans. And if that's not entertaining for you, then you can skip the next like two minutes. So essentially, this week is the last week of May. In June, I have a float trip with a bunch of my friends that I'll probably vlog. Then I'm actually going to South Carolina because I'm buying my mom's Honda. And I'm gonna fly there and then drive back. But that is a solo trip because Abram can't take like all this time off work. I'm gonna stop and see my in-laws. So from my mom's house to my in-laws house is seven hours and then from my in-laws to here is seven hours. So that makes it very doable. And then I'll be back for like, I think a week and then we're going to Canada. This is Abram's first time ever going to Canada. And I've been to Canada a few times, but we went to like Banff National Park and then I went to like Niagara Falls on the Canada side, but I haven't ever been to like Toronto in that area. So my brother's girlfriend, Tori is from Ontario. So my dad got a cabin for an entire month and he was just like, I got the cabin, whoever wants to come, you know, you're responsible for getting yourself there. So me and Abram are gonna go on the tail end of them having the cabin, which is like first week of July, which is also Canada Day, which essentially is like our 4th of July, but on the 1st of July, I believe. So we're gonna celebrate with her and her family, meet her brothers and all that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna spend the weekend of July 4th in Toronto grabbing like a little Airbnb there. Then we come back and I have like two weeks until my big Dominican trip. So for Christmas, my mom surprised me and my brothers and my stepsister a trip to the Dominican Republic. We're staying in a resort there. And as you guys know, I've been to the Dominican a lot, but I've never been to like the touristy area. I only ever went to this like one spot, which is where the resort I would always stay at was, but my brother's actually basically building a resort there. So I've only been on that side. I've never been on this side of the Dominican before and Abram's never been to the Dominican. So my mom got us all, once again, same situation. Like she paid for the stay and we're in charge of getting there. So anyway, a lot of traveling and Abram's gonna be able to take off work for all of that, which is gonna be super fun. Very packed summer, but I can't say no to an opportunity to go on a trip where essentially the biggest expense, which is the stay, is paid for by my parents. So shout out to both of them. And I'm really excited to go visit my mom. I love visiting my mom in South Carolina in the summer. We're gonna play golf, play pickleball, um, sit by her really nice pool. I love her gym too, gonna hit the gym there. Just so many good things. And then just day to day, I mean, my neighborhood has a pool which is now open and I've been working out every day with my cousin Alex. We're trying to incorporate more like hybrid training, going on runs outside. So overall, honestly, this feels like it's gonna be the most summer summer I've had in a long time. I feel like since I've become an adult, all my summers have been just like, you know, oh yeah, yeah, 
it's nice out, but I didn't really do anything. But especially being back in my hometown, having friends, lots of family around, and all these trips planned, I mean, this summer's gonna go by in the blink of an eye. So, so I'm trying to enjoy this like slow start to the summer. Plus, it's been super fun because my brother has been in town with his girlfriend, which, like I said, they're about to leave and go to Canada because she's not a US citizen and she can only be in the States for six months out of the year. So, anyways, all that to say, we're gonna have a great summer. Hags! Pack with me for the pool. Okay, we've got tanning lotion, sunscreen, water bottle. Now we are also going to bring my laptop, hard drive, my coffee, my Kindle, and my two current reads, because I don't know what mood I'm in for reading. Okay, what else? Towel, this is still wet. Phone, a charger, like my AirPods, and my tripod. Actually, there's a very low chance I actually set this up. I'm not even gonna bring it. I'll have to bring my camera. Let's go. Guys, I was looking for my camera all day yesterday. I literally thought I lost it. Turns out I left it at my house. So I went to my pool and it was freaking packed. And my stepbrother Benji came over and then we were both like, oh. So then we called Austin and Alex and they were going to their pool. So we went to their pool, got a tropical smoothie with vlog, and then we all went to the pool and played pickleball. And yeah, it was so fun. I'm so glad you guys got to come along and watch. Obviously you did not. So that sucks since they have to work a lot, but it's still gonna be summer vibes this week, okay? Right now I'm going to pick up Vlog. He had to drop off his motorcycle at a repair shop and I'm going to pick him up because I'm a good sister. If you guys have followed me for a while, then you know that this summer is very nostalgic. Well, actually, you probably don't know that, so let me explain. I haven't lived in my hometown for like a whole summer since 2020, and obviously that wasn't like, you know, it was 2020. So 2019 was really the last time I had like a summer in my hometown and I just moved back after being gone for like three years. It's just so weird. Like <clears throat> I'm driving around in my same car I had when I was like a senior in high school. I'm self-employed again, so I kind of have a lot more freedom going to the pool, hanging out with my family, always doing fun things. And I saw a TikTok that cracked me up and it was like, hey guys, I think I'm gonna quit my job so I can full time focus on summer. I was like, that is so real because my motivation to work is so low. I have a bunch of stuff I have to do for clients today and probably tomorrow too. And I'm like, I just want a pool. I just want a summer. I just want to like go to Silver Dollar City and go to the lake. But I'm an adult, so I can't do that. But the summer is already giving summer and the sun doesn't set till like 9 p.m. Oh, so tonight we'll probably like do summer things. And when I finish work or need a break, I'll go to the pool. I love summer. Okay, see, this is a perfect angle, but then my phone is in the way. Let's jam out a little bit. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my car. Thank you for picking me up. Yes. <laughs> Unboxing. What? I thought I got more than this. Oh, arriving Wednesday. Okay. Well, because of the memorial sale, I got a bunch of books. If you guys want to see a book haul, you can go to my book channel. But I also got two clothing items. One is a purple tennis skirt or a pickleball skirt, whatever. And that doesn't get here till Wednesday. And then I've been wanting linen pants for so long. So I finally caved and bought some. Okay, they're like double lined, so they shouldn't be see-through. These are like the perfect little summer beach pants or pool pants. Let's try them on. Putting them on over my shorts. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna wear these like every single day in the summer. This is gonna be the next series I get into. I forget what this series is actually called. I think it's like the air something. Rule prints is a part of the, why is it not on here? Okay, now I literally have to look at the, the folk of the air. I'll be doing the Folk of the Air series after I finish Throne of Glass and I think I'm gonna take a break between Throne of Glass and Crescent City because I got the Crescent City books and they're like this big. Who was gonna tell me that? My library is getting pretty big so I might be doing a little bookshelf DIY thing to make it look like I've built a bookshelf. Ooh, that'd be something fun to do this week. Maybe I'll do that. Comment down below if I should do that. Okay, hold on. I don't know about these pants. So I put them on with an outfit and like they're only lined or double lined until about here. So it feels like I'm wearing little shorts with them. And so they don't feel as like, okay, Griffin. 
They don't feel like free flowy. It's kind of weird. And like it's a weird, okay. It's kind of a weird material for the shorts part anyway. They're still cute, I'll still wear them. Today's Thursday. I think I got sick because I was like not feeling good for two days, but I'm feeling a little bit better now. So I'm actually going to go back to the pool and do some reading. I have a bunch of reading videos that I've been filming recently and they're kind of all over the place, multiple different ideas going on. So I've been doing a lot of reading, but it also takes up a lot of time, obviously. So let's go to the pool, relax and do some reading this morning. I actually remember my towel this time. So summer vibes, it's like 75, sunny. Someone is cutting the grass so it smells like summer with like the clean mow lawn smell. The grass smell, I don't know if that makes sense. And it's only May, it's gonna be such a good summer. I feel like this is gonna be a summer I look back on like forever. Like, oh, remember summer 2024? First summer in my house with my husband, walking to the pool every day going to Canada, going to South Carolina. Oh, it's just gonna be so good. Pretty sure it's not even technically summer. Doesn't the first day of summer, isn't that like in June? I don't know. I guess by the time y'all see this video, it will be June, but you know how it goes. Also, I might be going to Whitewater this Saturday. My husband wants to go, so that's like the water park nearby. Okay, I'm approaching the pool, and I also just realized this is my first time going to the pool when it's not a super busy day, and it's not even noon yet, so it should be pretty chill. Vibes were high at the pool. I was actually just about to jump in because I was getting really hot, but it is like lunchtime and I was getting hungry. So I meal prepped some shredded chicken tacos yesterday, but I only have one taco left, one tortilla. So I guess I'll fill one and then just eat the rest out of here. I'm going to heat up my tortilla a little bit and pop this in the microwave. Ooh, look how good that looks. I also forgot I bought some veggies, just some carrots and cucumbers. So I'm gonna put them in a veggie tray so they're good to go. Snacks for the summer. As you can see, it is overflowing. So I will eat some veggies with my lunch. some food i also did a little bit of work in editing i'm gonna head back to the pool um it's 80 degrees now why does it not look that sunny outside mm, it's probably still gonna feel good let's go to the pool i'm also driving this time because i am tired i think i might still be a little bit sick i don't know if i'm just in the sun too much and that is what keeps making me tired every day but i am so tired actually speaking of tired how about we do a little Celsius action? That's very summer vibes. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going home now. I was just at the pool for another like two hours reading. Wow, the sun will not get out of you. Whether I was sick or not, I'm tired now. Didn't even finish my Celsius and it's like warm now but definitely big summer vibes. I was enjoying that, but it's also like, it's kind of cloudy today. So it was like hot sometimes and then not hot enough to get in the pool because the pool's cold. So I just feel gross with all the sunscreen and sweat on me from sitting in the sun and I didn't want to get in the pool. So I'm just going to go home and shower. I am showered and clean, except it doesn't look like it because my hair is a mess. It's not a wash day. Um, tonight is my brother and his girlfriend's last day in town, which is really sad, but I'm going to visit them in Canada soon so no worries um, they're going back to Canada this Friday which is tomorrow so we're gonna go over to my brother Logan's house and we're all gonna hang out me and my husband are gonna grab food on our way there I think we might be getting Sonic so bad but so good honestly going to Sonic is probably the most summer food that I could go get let's be real here I also want to give a huge shout out to myself because I actually put on sunscreen I only have a few spots that have a ton bit of a sunburn like right on my stomach and right on my chest area but other than that I mean I was out there all day and I have no major burns so this is your sign this summer we are going ham on the sunscreen we're wearing hats okay we're being protective no sunburns first sonic of the summer 
don't think so. Really? Yeah. You know, the last time I came was when, when Ellie was in town. That was not summer. How was that not summer? Mm, wow, I feel all like these open just up. started last week. You always choose this one, and this one's always broken. Yeah, well, that was the only one that was open. It happens. What are you most excited about this summer? When it's over. What? It's already hot. Okay, trying the new fries. Uh, spoiler, I already ate one. They're really good. They're crispy. Yeah, the one I ate before that was like really salty. I loved it. You acted scared as I just said, trying the new fries and then put it to the you're gonna like, give it to me. <laughs> okay, I got the diet cherry limeade. It's so good. Good morning. I am unfortunately really tired again today, which sucks. But I did try to go to the gym. That was not a good idea. I was really tired after that. And then I showered, got ready. And now we're going to say goodbye to Jordan and Tori by going to one of my favorite coffee shops in town. And they have this sourdough bread, peanut butter, banana, honey toast thing. And it's so good. And I'm so excited. So I'm just packing up to go there. I'm going to bring all my stuff thinking mm, I could read, I could work. I'll probably just hang, but I'm bringing everything. <laughs> Yeah, dream have... guest on my podcast? Yes, I'm your dream guest. Yeah. Um, yeah, I accidentally found this secret family meeting. <laughs> he was like, oh, y'all are hanging out with me? I'm working late. Night. <laughs> <Have a shame. laughs> Goodbye. See you in Canada. Bye. You guys know what is so summer vibes? The fact that it's freaking super gloomy and rainy today. Are you kidding me? The one good part is I really want to do some reading now. And I've been re I've been reading a lot, so that's a good thing. Also, I feel like this little spot is the perfect reading spot, but like I never read over here because this is where my kitchen table is. So I might get like one of my cute comfy chairs and just like toss it right here so I can look out the window and read. Wouldn't that be so cute? Wait, I feel like this is gonna be so cozy. Let's check the vibes. I can definitely see this being super comfy. Feet up on this chair, ooh. I can open this window, then I can like hear the rain coming in. Vibes. We are on our way to Whitewater today. Abram has literally never been. This is like the final thing of moving to my hometown that he has not experienced, so I'm really excited. I don't know what the vlog situation will be like because it's a water park. Like, I'm gonna be in the water. I can't bring my camera, but I'll try to get some clips here and there. And I'm very excited because I haven't even been to Whitewater in probably five years. Yeah, that's actually probably accurate because I graduated high school five years ago and I think the last time I went I was a senior in high school. So let's go have a good day at Whitewater. Well, we rode all the rides, checked it all out. How did you like it? Uh, it's pretty fun and gaming. Abram was like going off earlier. He's like, this is crazy. This is not what I expected. There's actually rides. Ride. Like, it's like, the ro it's like roller coasters, like. but in water. Whereas most water parks are like, oh, it's a little water park, you can float around, there's a little tube, but this one actually is like roller coaster vibe, but in the water. So, so I guess I didn't explain it well, because he was like, oh, this is like legit, there's actually rides. And then his favorite one is one you go in, you like cross your arms and it counts down and then just completely drops you. And he made me ride that one like eight times, even though it scared me. right there the oh oh the orange oh the orange and green ride right there that was the one we did like a million times if you can't tell by this vlog i'm just really excited about summer okay i'm sorry i said it like a million times throughout this video that's it for this week i'll see you guys in the next one which might be my south carolina vlog i don't know i'm not oh wait no it'll be the river vlog so stay tuned love you guys bye pretty, pretty, pretty.